I'm here at the Thornbury Surfing Stadium and Luke Haynes following Chippenham's 5-3 win over Gloucester City. Luke, uh, as far as football games goes, that was uh, definitely an entertaining one. There's quite a lot going on there today. Yeah, it was a crazy one. Um, we take the lead through a good goal first, first half and then I score my first goal the season, which is well overdue. And um, yeah, we go three up just after the second half and we thought, yeah, this would do us now. And the ref... Um, he gave a penalty. He, he had an alright game, the ref, but he made a bad mistake on it. He's given a penalty. He's hit Matt McClure in the middle of his back. He's given that ball, and I think after that, it's a bit of a momentum switch. So we needed the fourth. It went 3-1, three, 3-2, three three and we needed the fourth to settle us back down, and um, we got that, so full time. Yeah, exactly. It seemed like that penalty was sort of a bit of a turning point in the second half. First, I would say, you got your goal. 2-0 mm. um, up at half-time. Faz got the early one to make it 3-0, and that penalty sort of gave... Lost a little bit of the spark they needed. They pulled it back to three two, and then as we say, with that frenetic spell of uh, three goals yeah. in pretty much three minutes there, and um, Faz taking advantage of the keeper making an absolute howler, and I think now it's sort of really put the game to bed. But it's one of those real cup game feels, isn't it? So it could have gone either way. At some points in that second half. Yeah, yeah, it could have gone. <laughs> it could have gone either way, um, but we feel that. We, we deserved a win. I, I feel like if there was anything other than uh, a win for us, we'd have been slightly hard done by. I think that for 90% um, of the game, we were in control. They never really threatened us. can't remember Will Emery having too many serious saves to make. Um, we knew they were going to be big, physical, not not like massive, but not like a Dartford or anyone like that. But they, they come with a game plan and they're tough to beat in terms of um, keeping them out of your goal. And they scored three goals. Um, which we're not happy about, but as long as you score five, it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly, through to the fourth round for the first time in the club's history. So some of the teams that we could draw on Monday are Local Rovers, Bath City, with us mm. Torquay United, and then also some former EFL clubs, Oldershot, Chesterfield, Oldham, Hartlepool. Who will you be hoping for in the fourth round draw? Uh, I like a big gate. Mm. So Bath, Chesterfield, anyone along those lines. I like a big gate. I want... Um, I think we deserve it as a group to um, to have a big game, uh, yeah. just because we've we've been a bit hard done by at times in terms of going out of competitions and. Um yeah, I feel like as a club we deserve it. Thank you very much, Luke, and congratulations on your goal. I'm here at the Thornbury Surfing Stadium with Matt McClure following Chippenham Town's 5-3 win against Gloucester City. Matt, a, you could say a typical cup game, really. You had a lot going on and uh, against your former club as well, you got the opening goal. Yeah, obviously nice to get the goal. Um, probably ended up a bit closer than it should have been towards the, uh, towards the end. Um, penalty wasn't a penalty, and there's a handball leading up to the third goal, so... Yeah, the ref sort of made it a little bit uh, closer than it should have been. He's seen the penalty now and said that it wasn't a penalty as well, so he's apologised for that, but fair play to him for doing that. Yeah, luckily <clears> at the end result wasn't really too impacted by that, but that sort of sparked Gloucester in the second half to sort of get back into the game. They got the headers soon after, and it, it seemed that just sort of the, the little spark they needed to sort of push a bit further. Yeah, obviously it can give a team a lot of momentum. Obviously we were comfortable at 3-0 uh, up, were we? Uh, three and a half at the time. Now. Yeah. We were three and a half at the time, yeah. So then obviously they get one back and the impetus is with them and they you know, they got it a bit between them te their teeth. So I said that to him out on the pitch and he said, Look, I'm happy to look at it with you and afterwards and if if it is a mistake I'll hold my hands up, which he did do, so fair play to him. Yeah, fair play as, as but and then we had the phonetic sort of three goals in three minutes uh, as well. Um that sort of and then Faz was uh, the the beneficiary of uh of what can only be described as a howler from the Gloucester keeper and that sort of thing calmed things down a little bit there. Yeah, that obviously uh, sort of settled the, settled the nerves a little bit, got the two goal cushion back again and obviously Faz is playing really well, he's in good form now, he's mm. three in his last two, so it's good to see and um, obviously yeah, it just sort of settled us down to see the last few minutes out. Yeah, so we're through to the fourth round for the first time in the club's history. So some of the teams that we could get in the fourth round draw, we've got Bath, Torquay, one of your former club's older shot. Chesterfield, Oldham, Hartlepool. What sort of draw you be looking for in the next round? Uh, lowest, lowest <laughs> league position, so we can uh, obviously best chance to get through again. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Saturday as well, we got Ch we got uh, Weymouth here at the Thornbury Surfing Stadium. We've had some good games against them recently. They'll be looking to bounce back following a two 0 defeat against Hendon's Day in the FA Trophy. So. It'll be another good game here at the Thornby Surfacing Stadium. Yep, that might not bode well for us because, uh, you know, it's never nice when you go out of the cup to a lower league team. So they'll be coming here to, to uh, show a reaction to that. And, um, you know, we've just got to make sure that we're ready and 
uh, raring to go. Thank you very much, Matt. Well done on your goal. Yeah, the Thornbury Stoke Stadium with Craig Fassamade following Chippenham's 5 3 win over Gloucester City. Craig, you got two goals this afternoon and my name now in the match. How was that for you today? Good Saturday. <laughs> yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. It was a, a good performance from, from all the boys and to come away with two goals and, and man of the match shows that the team's played really well and that has allowed me to, to do my job as well, so good. Good, good goal, goal score meet for you as well, obviously with the goal at Hemel Hempstead as well and uh, also you were the man who got us to this stage of the FA Trophy, of course, with your late, late <laughs> equaliser against Basingstoke find yourself in a rich vein of form at the moment. Yeah, no, like I say, it's, it's, it's down to the team to, to sort of generate opportunities for me and, and then down to me to, to try and put them in the back of the net. And it's been going well on both sides, so long may it continue. Second half was a bit frenetic, wasn't it? Sort of the penalty really sparked up yeah, the final action. Yeah, it was bonkers, really. I mean, the boys have done well to sort of get a hold back on the game and, and get through to the end. But yeah, very strange sort of 20 minute period it was. So like I said, the boys done well to ride it out. And you yourself pretty much put an end to it with uh, probably one of the easiest goals you'll ever score in your career. Yeah, no, as a striker, they're the best goals you'll ever get. So <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. And for the first time in the club's history, fourth round of the FA Trophy. Some of the teams that we could join the next round include Bath, Torquay, uh, Oldershot, Chesterfield, Oldham, Hartlepool. Any sort of preference on who you play in the next round? Not really, no. I, I, I'm, it's just good to be in the hat and um, we'll see what we get and then prepare for that as, as we always do. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Back in the league on Saturday, we have Weymouth here at the Thornbury Service and Stadium. We had some good games against them recently. Mm. They lost 2-0 to Hendon today, so they'll be looking for a bit of a comeback. And that should be another entertaining game here. Yeah, never easy to, to play against Weymouth. Never easy to play against anyone in our league. So we'll have to approach it with the right mentality and, and try and do the business again this Saturday. Thank you very much, Craig, and congratulations. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Lovely stuff.